So hi, I guess you guys are back with another video. As you can tell by the title of this video, what I am going to be doing, I'm going to be dyeing my mother's hair black, dark black, and I am using this. We use any type, but we mainly use this. It's actually pretty good. I really do think, ooh, I really do think that y'all should get this. Like this is a really good like a hair a hair dye product. It, but look, this is the only effect on it. Like for some reason, I give it about like four or five days. It start fading in some spaces. It start like fading and. I don't know, but we got to invest in new ones and it's like a new product. But yeah, I mean, it's pretty good though. Like the color come out like, like that, like that. But yeah, y'all, it's called dark and lovely, stuff like that, you know, whatever. So now let's open it. You get this at the dollar store, nothing fancy and you know, nothing fancy. Mm -mm. Okay, we call this mine the wood, y'all. It's just cedar wood, it's just cedar wood. Anyways. Let me got my gloves. Got this, got that. Of course, y'all open this. That's a funny right there. Crash cone. Some of them. Quarters. I got a funny time. You know what I'm saying? 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 You know what I'm on apple juice. <laughs> hey guys, I mixed it all up and this is what you get. And make sure you shake it up real, real well. You don't, you know, don't need no separatization, making it look funny or whatever, you know. Really use this. I just use like my regular shampoo and stuff. I am supposed, like you don't have to, it's optional. It is very much optional. So I use my own shampoo and stuff like that. This, I only use this like two times in a daily life. Like when I dye my mama hair, like only two times. But yeah, y'all. So what y'all want to do is, I'm going to tell y'all the first step is just separate the hair in fours. Make sure you detangle it. And this is going to take a good minute. So each section, the reason why I say part of the sections is way easier. You can get to the scalp more better. Make sure you have a comb, stuff like that. And make sure y'all have something to wrap around. I mean, well, not wrap around, something to... You know, so like when you put the dye on, it don't run down the face. It don't cause no staining. It's perfectly fine. So, yeah, if you want to see more videos like this, let me know down in the comments below. Let me know what else y'all want me to do and stuff like that. Make sure I hit that notification bell so you know whenever I post. So, like, comment, subscribe, and keep on watching.
Okay, guys, I'm going to get back with you when I am literally on the last one, like kind of sort of on the last one. So, yeah. If you stayed this long in the video, uh, to comment down on why so I know that you've been sticking with me this whole time. So, let's go. Okay, you guys, this is how it's looking. Jet black. Got everything. So, now what you want to do is get a clear bag and you want to leave it in for 20 minutes. And I get right back with y'all when I'm getting ready to wash the hair. Hey guys, this is all the products you're gonna need. I will use Eco Boost to y'all, but I left it in the truck, so yeah. Um, I'm using this, I'm using brush, the brush, of course, a brush. This the tango brush, of course. Um, Eco, and I'm also using the Let's Jam, and I'm using the Edge Effect, and of course an edge brush and a comb so don't mind how the comb look but yes this is what i'm using so yeah let's for the rest of the video i am going to do a voiceover so keep watching
Yes, I'm gonna get back with y'all when I'm finished. Okay, you guys, I am finished. This is how it looks. Comment down below what you think, how you think I've done. But yeah, let me know if you wanna see more videos like this and bye.